Hi, I'm Troy from Studio 33 Guitar. Thanks for watching. Today we're looking at How to Play Dreams by Fleetwood Mac. Now, this is an old song. It's actually recorded in 1977, but it's become very popular again in the last little while because of some viral TikTok videos that you've probably seen. This is a great song, especially for beginners, because it only has two chords throughout the entire song. So today I'll show you those two chords plus a couple of variations to make it sound a little bit more interesting and a little bit more like the original. The original recording doesn't have an acoustic guitar part, so I'm going to show you a strumming pattern that'll work really well for this song. As always, you can print off a free PDF version of the chords and lyrics for this song from my website, studio33guitar.com. And while you're there, you can check out some of our other free lessons or some of our full courses. But for now, let's zoom in on the neck and have a look at how to play Dreams by Fleetwood Mac. As I mentioned in the beginning, this song only has two chords. And those two chords are going to be an F chord and a G chord. Now, I'm going to show you a couple different ways that you can play that. First of all, the F chord, you can play a full F bar chord like that if you wanted to, and that would be completely fine. What I like on this song is to actually use a simpler F chord, and this is actually going to be an F major 7 chord. So for this one, all we're going to do is put our ring finger on the 3rd fret, on the D string, then our middle finger on the second fret, the next string down, G, and then our index finger on the first fret of the B string. And we're just gonna have those three strings held down, and we're gonna have this high E string open. So we're not gonna play the two lower strings. And that's gonna give us this sound. That's an F major seven. Now if you wanna make that just a regular F major chord, then all you would do is just flatten out your index finger to hold down this high note as well. So then you would end up with this. Either one of those versions would be fine for this song. You may even want to try and experiment with different ones and even change it up during the song because it only has the two chords throughout the whole song. To give it a little bit of variety, you may want to try some different variations of that chord. Again, because there's no actual acoustic guitar part on this song, you can kind of play around and find something that you like the best. Now the other chord that we need for this song is a G major chord. And again, you can play this a number of different ways. You can play a regular G major like this. And with this one, I've got my two fingers there. If you've watched some of my other videos, you know that's how I usually recommend playing a G chord. And so that would sound like this. And that sounds great, but this change from here to here is a little bit of a jump and you're moving all your fingers. So another easier way to do this would be to take this same shape that we had for the F chord and just slide that up two frets and you'd have this. And that's again with that high E string ringing open. And this gives us what's called a G major six chord. And again, if you wanna make that just a regular G major chord, you can flatten that index finger and hold down both of these notes and that'll give you a regular G major. Now I like the sound of that G major six along with that F major seven because that high E string ringing out throughout both of these chords really gives it a nice airy open sound. Again, like I mentioned, there's no acoustic guitar in the original song and so the strumming pattern is really up to you. But here's one that I think fits really well with this song. And that's going to be the really popular strum, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And each of these chords is played for one bar. So that means that that pattern will play for each of those chords one time through, and then you'll switch to the next chord. So that would look like this. So you're going to play that same chord progression from the F to the G throughout the intro, the verse, and the chorus, the entire way through the song with just those two chords. By changing the chords slightly between the verse and the chorus, you'll find that it gives a little bit of variety, makes the song sound a little bit more interesting 
than just playing the same two chords over and over again. If you'd like to learn more easy beginner guitar songs, then make sure you click on this playlist right here. I've compiled a whole list of different easy beginner guitar songs. And thanks for watching today. We'll see you on the next video.